everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to find the solution to the given differential equation just from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem solve d square minus p square into y equals to sine hpx. So here treat p as real constant. Solution given differential equation. d square minus p square into y equals to sine h of hpx, right? Now, let's find order and degree of the given equation. We can write the given equation as d square y minus p square y equals to sine hpx. We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx. Then we can write d square y as d square y by dx squared minus p square y equals to sine h px. So here we, give, we have to identify the highest derivative. So here d square y by dx squared is the highest derivative. So our order will be 1. Sorry, order will be 2. And the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So order is 2 and degree is 1. To the given differential equation. If you notice, we are given the differential equation in operator form, right? In terms of d, I can say. Then, we can say which is in operator form f of d into y equals to q, right? Where f of d equals to d square minus p square and q equals to sine h p x. Now we need to find the solution to the given non-homogeneous equation. Non-homogeneous differential equation, right? Which is given by y equals to y c plus y p. We'll find y p using auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of this non-homogeneous equation by considering or treating q as 0, we'll get homogeneous equation and using auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of this non-homogeneous equation, we'll find yc. And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. So first we will find complementary function using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, replace differential operator d by m, then you'll get f of m equals to m square minus p square, then auxiliary equation becomes m square minus p square equals to 0. Here m square minus p square is of a square minus b square form. So you can write this as a plus b into a minus b. That is m plus p into m minus p equals to 0. Now, by equating each factor to 0, we can, we can find roots. If we equate first factor to 0, from this you'll get m equals to minus p. And if you equate second factor to 0, you'll get m equals to plus p. Right? So from this, we'll get m equals to minus p plus p. Which are the roots of the given, sorry, not given, the auxiliary equation. Therefore, m equals to minus p and plus p are the roots of f of m equals to 0, auxiliary equation. So here the roots are real and distinct, right? Roots are which are 
real and distinct. We know that if we get some two distinct and real rules, then the complementary function will be c1 equal any root into x plus another constant into another root into x. Then our complementary function will be yc equals to c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 into e power another root into x. From this we will get c1 e power minus px plus c2 e power px. Right? So y is equals to c1 e power minus px plus c2 e power px. Now let's find particular integer. is given by yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d, d square minus p square and q sine h px. Since we know that sine h ax equals to e power ax minus e power minus ax by 2 then sine h px for a equals to p will get sine h px equals to e power px minus e power minus px by 2. Right? Then you can replace sine h px by e power px minus e power minus px by 2. Right? This becomes 1 by d square minus p square into e power px minus e power minus px by 2. This is equal to 1 by d square minus p square into write the total expression as 1 by 2 into e power px minus e power minus px. Again you can write this as one by d square minus p square into one by one by two into 1 by d square minus p square into e power px minus e power minus px which is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by d square minus p square into e power px minus 1 by d square minus p square into e power minus px. You can name the first term as pi1 and the second term as pi2 and find them separately. So firstly we will find 1 by d square minus p square into e power px. 1 by d square minus p square into e power px. So here we are having f of d equals to d square minus p square. So firstly, find here you are having some 1 by f of t into e power ax, right? Where a is a real number. We have pi1 in this form. 1 by f of d into e power ax, where a is a real number. Let's find f of is equals to replace d by p then you'll get p square minus p square which is equals to 0 since f of p equals to 0 what we have to do we need to write 1x into 1 by find the derivative of this since f of d equals to d square minus p square right d square minus p square is f of d so we'll find f dash of t which is equal to derivative of d square is 2d and derivative of a constant is 0. So you get 2d like 2d into e power px. Now what we have to do? We have to find f dash of p equals to 2 into p 
2p is not equal to 0. Since f dash of p is not equal to 0. So we can replace denominator by f dash of p into e power p x or we can just replace this d by p. Okay. Then you will get x into 1 by 2p. Both f dash of p is 2p and 2 into p is 2p. Right. So you get 2p in the denominator integral px which is equal to x e power px by 2p. Therefore, 1 by d square minus p square into e power px equals to x e power px by 2p. This is our pi1. Result obtained from pi1. Now let's find pi2. Or find the result of pi2. They have, they have just named it as pi2. Okay. 1 by d square minus p square into e power minus p x. So this is in this is pi2 which is in 1 by f of d into e power a x form where a is a real number for a equals to minus p. Fine. You are having f of d equals to d square minus p square. Now let's find f of minus p. Just replace d by minus p. You'll get p square minus p square which is equals to 0. Since f of minus p equals to 0. So we'll find. We'll just write 1x into 1 by. Find the derivative of this. So you need to find f dash of d. Which is equals to derivative of d square is 2d. Minus derivative of p square is 0. So you'll get f dash of d is. 2d which is not equal to 0 right into a power minus px so now we'll find f dash of minus p equals to 2 into minus p equals to minus 2p which is not equal to 0 since f of Sorry, f dash of minus p is not equal to 0. So, you can replace the d by minus p or, or simply, right, f dash of minus p value in the denominator. Okay, this equals to x into p into minus 2p is minus 2p, right, p into minus p is minus 2p. And also f dash of minus p is minus 2p, both are same. So write the value in the denominator 1 by minus 2p. Value of 2 into minus p is minus 2p and also f dash of minus p is minus 2p into e power minus px. Since f dash of minus p equals to minus 2p. Right. Then this equals to x into, we can write 1 by minus 2p as minus 1 by 2p into e power minus px which is equals to minus x into minus 1 into e power minus px is minus x e power minus px by 2p. Therefore, 1 by d square minus p square into e power minus p x equals to minus x e power minus p x by 2. Now let's write yp. Coming to yp, this becomes 1 by 2 into result obtained from the first term x 
if of ex by 2p minus result obtained from the second term is minus x e power minus p x by 2p right is equal to 1 by 2 into x e power p x by 2p minus into minus plus x e power minus 2 sorry minus p x by 2 right now take the lcm of these two terms you'll get 2p as your lcm in the numerator you'll get x e power p x plus x e power minus p x right now you can take x common from the numerator you'll get 1 by 2 into x into e power p x plus e power minus p x by 2 p since we know that cos h p x equals to e power p x plus e power minus p x by 2 right since cos h a x equals to e power a x plus e power minus a x by 2 then for a equals to p you'll get e power cos h p x is e power p x plus e power minus p x by 2 right so just leave e power p x plus e power minus p x in the numerator and 2 in the denominator and write x by p outside the bracket or simply split this expression as x by p into e power p x plus e power minus p x by 2 right since e power p x plus e power minus p x by 2 is cos h p x right so you can replace this term by cos h p x then this becomes 1 by 2 into x by p into just write this again which is equals to x by 2p into replace the terms under square brackets by cos h p x right since e power p x plus e power minus p x by 2 is cos h p x Therefore, yp equals to x by 2p into cos hpx. Now, we can write the general solution which is given by y is equals to y, sorry, y equals to yc plus yp. y equals to yc plus yp. We get y equals to yc, c1 e power minus px plus c2 e power plus px plus yp x y 2 p into cos h px right therefore y equals to c1 e power minus px plus c2 e power px plus x y 2 p into cos h px is the required solution So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.